Hello everyone, my name is Draconic Rose and welcome back to another episode of Rimworld Alpha 16. Today Brew has caught us an iguana. What a nice little hunting puppy. That is the advantage of having hunting animals. They will go out and kill stuff for you without using up your hunter's time. But today we are continuing the development of our colony over here, or at least as much as we can. For that we definitely need to find more wood to chop, and if there is none, well, then we have to send it in from somewhere. Now over here we are still missing components, which will have to come from over here. Now if I remember correctly, yes, I did get a few more. So this transport pod will start being loaded. And one of the things that will be loaded in it will be about... To seven, seven components. Yes, that sounds like a good, good enough uh, amount. And what else? Mm, perhaps some steel. Yeah, still sounds good. I wish this had a search function. Do we even have any steel? Yes, we do. I don't think there's anything else we really want to send over there other than mm, maybe clothing. So clothing. Well, not really if we want to send all that steel, to be honest, but we can reduce that to 200. Why not? And we can start sending... We actually don't have that many clothes left, honestly. We have mostly hats. Hats, of all things. Hmm. Definitely not something I was... Uh thinking about, but we will send... Uh, we have two people there, right? So we'll send some things and the rest can be in fact steel. Where is the steel again? There we go. Okay, let's load that up and get going. Actually, I'll wait until they've loaded up things to do that. So, let me see a th Ah, uh, yes, I suspended everything now, didn't I? Mm, yes, I can stop the suspension because boats are becoming a little bit more necessary than I thought they were. I will suspend these, though. And this one, author Sean. I'm sorry, but Sean does not really exist anymore now, does he? Now, those things... Let's keep that suspended. A basin has broken down, that is why I'm still leaving a few components down for people to make. More cargo pods with unfertilized eggs, those are pretty good. Tiger, can you actually prioritize holding these because they'll take a while. Mega Scarab revenge against Talia, but the Mega Scarab will lose this one. Though she is getting her little paws all bitten up. Not great. At least they do have at least one little bed where they can rest. That's not so bad. Up on the other side, Blade and Cranky Daisy are living their lives with Narda now more alone than ever. Still needing a bunch more wood though. Hmm. Because they are in fact using it all on camp fuel, in which case I can suspend that because we need to send fuel. Fuel? No, we need to send wood down to the other side. Now Brew has an infection for a doggy. Hopefully that will be enough to heal it. Over here at least they have all the potatoes they could want. And a lot of the trees as well. It would be worse for trees. We just gotta wait until they grow. And we unfortunately don't have that kind of time. What we do have time is to mine all this steel. Definitely would help with getting the colony on track. Because I'm pretty sure there's things to build that only require steel. 
okay, that's that's just the base and nobody cares. Truthfully, nobody cares. What I do care is it's about having someone who can craft not not a, not exactly something that it that is happening so soon. It's too bad about Sean, really. Oh well. So we do not have. Well, we do have some sandstone blocks, which means I can start at least designating the walls again. So let's just do that real quick. Over here, wall, wall, wall. Not replacing anything. Good. There we go. Get some walls done. What else here and here? And one here. Good. Dromedary. Oh, poor Lincoln. That means it's gonna come after pawns now. Who is awake? Almost everyone, really. So, can you two come over and perhaps shoot a camel? Thank you. I'll actually set this one up to hunt. And hopefully someone will come rescue poor Lincoln? Maybe? No? No. They will not. No reachable unreserved animal bed. That's quite a problem, isn't it? Let's get some animal sleeping spots to here and see if that helps. Uh, hopefully people will now... No? Um, come rescue Lincoln. The poor pupper. Well, it's only bruised, so it's not not like it would die, but always a good good form to rescue our puppies. Even though we are ultimately getting rid of them. Still. Over here, how are we doing? Not very good. Are the pods loaded? Is what I wanna know. Let's see. Uh, a devil strand duster is missing. No. Did someone steal it? Did you steal it, tiger? Yes, you did. I mean, I say that without actually knowing, but I'm I'm assuming. What does the mega slot wall center? I wish there was a place where I could just look at all the quotes in my colony. But I'm assuming that duster has been used and now cannot be loaded into the pods. So let's send this one over. And start making another transport pod over there. Great. Do I have anyone who's assigned to construct? Yes. But unfortunately he's also assigned to cooking and cooking is a task that takes a lot of time in this colony but appears to be handled right now. Okay, okay, that's that's fine. I'm done with that. Okay, he's doing repairs and probably gonna do construct soon. Now over here, someone has already changed out some things. Now we have cargo pods. Ooh, medicine. Very nice. And the people here are mining all that delicious steel. Crew has died because of infection. Oh, poor puppy. It will now become food. Um. Well, it's the Rim World. Oh, don't look at me like that. Major break risk from Taters, who is a night owl in daytime. Well, they could sleep then. Don't you look at me like that. Do they still have enough food? Yes, and enough components as well. They're mostly missing wood, really. Wood and steel. Got the zit event. That oh dear. Every hand on deck.
Oh no, there it goes. Get out of there before you burn to death. There we go. Bartos is just repairing stuff now. I'm assuming that uh, he can't firefight. Nope, pyromaniac. Uh, can you kind of, you know? Oh, okay, he's, he's fine. Sort of. Hopefully they'll get this under control. Tiger, can you extinguish on this front, extinguish on this, extinguish on this, and you should together be able to balance it out. Hmm. Erebus, extinguish here. English here, Jesse is doing okay. Jesse! Tiger, what the hell? That one is done, and... Come on. I can do it. There we go. Fire is under control, though. That poor bathtub. Jesse, what is your problem? You need to eat. Yes, eat a lavish meal and make yourself feel better. Tenor is still having unhappy nudity. Does anyone here have tailoring? Yes, tailors does have tailoring. Just not the materials to tailor with. Then again, that's 40 cloth. How much does the tribal wear need? 35. And it can use cloth. So, taters, why can't you help Tenor out a bit? Since you're a night owl and everything. Even shoddy clothes are better than nothing. I mean, I suppose. Though he, he is not wearing nothing, he just doesn't have any pants. He's in the desert. Bring a parka! Or why does he want any pants? I don't understand people in the room. I really do not. We'll harvest that agave because, well, it's there. It is now sleeping during the day, good. Have you changed into the tribal wear? Or did she? No. Nobody did that, so where is that tribal wear? Um, what a great question, apparently. Is this the mystery of the missing tribal wear? Hmm. Well, I can tell you I am not a fan. One of one, do until you have one. So, somewhere in this colony. There is a place that has a tribal wear. Oh, oh, there we go. What tribal wear? Shoddy. Do they... Well, I'm not sure if these do. And the game crashed. Well, that was actually sort of my fault. I forgot that outfitter, the mod I used to keep their outfits, Sane doesn't work well with the default outfit assignment menu. This is a bug I have reported several times to the mod author, author, but he refuses to admit that it's his mod causing the crashes. So, eh, don't use Outfitter, I guess? Um, I'll let you know right now that I don't use it in my Alpha 18 version, I don't think. Now I think I opted for hospitality because, yes, it is incompatible with hospitality. Uh, anyway, continuing on, the tribal wear is in fact in here and they are allowed to wear it. So, I don't know why Tenor hasn't um, tried wearing it. Certainly help out with, with um, his nudity problem. 
So I will force him to wear it. That is how things go. See? Not naked anymore. That should definitely help with the moods over here. Now I have to set this window up again because the game crashed. So they will mine this out while they wait and build what they can. And over here oh, we have all three transport pods. So I guess we could load the entire thing. Yep. Launch group of three. So what will we send? Well obviously we are sending a bunch of pemmican because even though they have uh, food over there, they will need it. And we are also sending a whole bunch of chem fuel. We'll keep those components. Uh, I would actually like to send more cloth to them. And what else? Wood. Oh, darn. Let's cancel that and let's make sure that they chop a lot more wood over here. Because that other side needs a lot of it, to be perfectly honest. So, let me just assign all of this. Late in Crank Your Days, he should do a short work of it. Really shouldn't take them too long to get all that wood chopped up. Look at them go. I really wish they would hold these in, but uh, I realize that they can't do everything, right? Oh, Lincoln has recovered. Good. So we only lost one pupper to the hunting expeditions. Now the mod is also supposed to sometimes gather a group of them to take down an animal, but I haven't seen it do that in this uh, save yet. I did see it do that when I first started playing with the mod, and it was pretty cool. Major break risk taters because... Soiled herself. Well... Not much I can do about that. Well, there is something I can do about that. I, I can... No, I wish I could make you one out of steel. I'll just create a stockpile zone here, even though it doesn't have a roof. Just so that you will hopefully bring in some steel. And I can make a steel pit latrine. It's actually kind of weird, the things you prioritize to build. I'll, I'll be honest. But as soon as we have steel, I hope we can make a steel pit latrine and help out over there. Uh, how much more wood do we have? Let's see then. We have a whole bunch of it. Yes, we, we will send all of it. Wow. Um, fine, I guess we are forgetting that everything else. Please start loading the within. Oh dear. I'm sorry, I just had dinner and this, well, it's still digesting. Put it that way. Over here, everything going according to plan. I apologize for that. You know, you know the song I was butchering? According to plan, the corpse fried, no? Now, there is a movie that is very fun, but also slightly triggering. Oh, another Mega Scarab attacking! Who will win? Hopefully, Lincoln. Yeah! Good puppy. Best puppy. I really like that mod. In case, in case it wasn't obvious by now. Now, why are y'all sleeping? There's still pods to be launched. Loading in progress. Major break with taters again. Why? Ugly environment. But you're still in plants. That should help your mood quite a lot. Still sandstone. Mm -hmm. 
this toilet doesn't have anything because this doesn't have power. That makes sense. Oh, they actually built the geotherm. That will help. That will help a lot. Uh, if they prioritize, you know, building the things, power conduit. But for now, they must sleep. I actually want this uninstalled. So that Tater sleeps there. And there's another spot for things to go in. The tents are actually kind of cute, I, I feel. So Talia is fully healed. And... Up and about! Good puppy! I bet they have scars and whatnot. By now. He's pregnant! Oh, you'll have more puppies! Wish I could be happier about that. Uh, but on that puppy-filled note, we are wrapping up the episode. Don't forget to like and especially subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye! Thank you so much to my patrons for making this channel possible. Click the Patreon logo to become one of these fine folk. And if you enjoyed the video, here are some more YouTube things you would like. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Have a lovely day and I'll see you next time.